Four Horsemen is the hardest in the box unless you have Stun Confuse. Oof. I'm stoked to see this play out. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So. Give each villain a hit point dial to set their starting hit points. We're just going to use tokens. And then if you do not have enough hit point dials, you can use dice, counters, pen, paper, or some other method to track each villain's hit points. <laughs> the horseman causes the active counter to pass to the next villain, which will just go into this row. And the encounter refers to the villain, adjustable difficulty. We're using side B. So we're going to start with pestilence. Oh, wait, hold on. We're definitely not done setting that up. Ah, then one health is very bad, right? Yeah, no, one health, one health isn't great. Um, <laughs> Alrighty, so set up. Shuffle the Age of Apocalypse modular set into the encounter deck. Let's make sure that we don't have any thing that we have to do set up. Shuffle the four horsemen villains. Reveal them in a row from left to right. Place the active counter on the leftmost villain. Active counter is just going to be up here in the throne. Um, each player reveals a random side scheme from the four horsemen encounter set. So we have to find a... When defeated, the player defeats this scheme, discards an upgrade or support they control that comes in with six and a hazard. Uh oh. After Pestilence attacks you, if she has at least one hit point, treat your identity's text box as if or blank except for traits until the next villain phase begins. Ugh. Okay, so we can shuffle these in now. After a villain activates, move the active counter to the next one. Alrighty. Shuffle Age of Apocalypse modular set into the encounter deck. Just did that. Randomly select one of the available mission side schemes. But not that one. I'm going to roll a dice for the Overseer. I'm going to re-roll a six. The Mr. Sinister. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Liberate the Seattle core. After you resolve a mission attempt, place an attempt counter. There are four mission account uh, counters here. Flip over. It comes up with five threats. And we're going to remember to do the setup this time, which is on the back. Liberate the Seattle Core. Set each copy of Desperate Measures upgrade, upgrade outside out of play. So those are over here. The Desperate Upgrade Measure Upgrade. Test you an ally. It gets plus one thwart, plus one attack, plus one hit points. Considered to have a wild resource icon in addition to its printed resource icon. Well, that seems pretty good. Big fan of that, actually. Uh, Overseer takes control of the mission. Each player searches their deck for an ally and adds it to their hand. This card counts towards your ally limit we're going to grab uh venom because mr sinister players cannot assign cards with the same resource icon meaning uh lightning mental physical or wild to more than one ally each mission attempt so each player's hit points each player may place three threat on the mission side scheme to heal their identity to full hit point value it's probably not worth it, right? That's probably not worth it. Three threat. Three threat is so much. I've known war for less than two seconds. I already hate him. I don't take well to villain taking away my upgrades. Oh, yeah, war. So after war attacks you, if he has at least one hit point, discard an upgrade or support you control. Death is after death attacks you, if he has at least one hit point, deal one damage to each character you control. And then Famine is after Famine attacks you, if she has at least one hit point, discard the top 10 cards of your deck. I think there is a real strategy here to letting Pestilence Scheme on us turn one and staying down healing twice and just throwing, throwing allies over to liberate the Seattle core. Because these are all after they attack, but not after they scheme. Ravages of War, oh my gosh. Too many things. There's too many things to take care of. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. They all have they all have 12 hit points. And 
And I think I think we just win when all of when we deal the forty eight damage. That's kind of how I'm reading it. So Pestilence is a three two, war is a two three, death is a two three, famine's a three two. Alrighty. We got this. We got Venom. Spiritual Meditation. Genius. Beautiful. That's three. Sorcerer Supreme is four. Five. Six. Honestly, I may just keep that hand. That is not a bad hand at all. Two, four. Yeah, we're just going to keep the hand. Uh, okay. Let's play Spiritual Meditation. I'm going to draw a Magic Barrier and a Iron Heart. We're going to toss the Magic Barrier. We're going to play Spiritual Meditation. We're going to draw White Tiger and Soul Sword. We're going to discard... Soul Sword. We're going to use Mission Team and a Genius to play Venom 2 over here. I'm going to heal for three. One, two, three. Venom would love to go on mission. He's the lethal protector, better than Spider-Man, and best at the missions, of course. <laughs> okay, so I think, I think what we're going to do is we're going to sit in Alter Ego and hope for the best. I'm trying to figure out if I want to play White Tiger to the mission. I f instead of running Sorcerer Supreme and Blood Gym, is that worth it? We could also play Ironheart to the mission and play Blood Gym. Sorcerer Supreme seems really good. But also if we defeat the mission, we're going to play White Tiger to the mission. If we get two successful mission attempts, we can immediately get rid of Mr. Sinister. And we need one more to uh, get rid of the threat there. So let's stand up. Got Cable. Call for backup. Basic spell. Spiritual meditation. Soul strike. Deadpool. Soul strike is also nice here because we can stun Pestilence. Which can help. I'm going to add one threat to the main. And then Pestilence is going to scheme for three. You are stunned. So just three. So that's nice. That takes us to four. We have two encounter cards coming our way. First one is Sinister Strikes. Place one pursuit counter on Pursuit by the Past. Then if it has any counters, it surges. So we're going to surge into Horseman of War. Heal two damage from War. Give him a tough status card. He activates against you. So War is going to scheme for two, three. It's going to take us up to seven. Then we've got Worldwide Crisis. Choose to either place three threat on the mission side scheme or take one damage and this card gains surge. Oh, no. Okay, so if we place three threat, that takes us up to eight threat. And we just have to have two successful. We have to have two successful regardless. It, now it has to be two perfect successes. But we have a lot of lightning in the... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place the threat. I don't, I don't like it, but I think that's what we kind of have to do. Okay. It's our turn. We're going to play Spiritual Meditation. I'm going to draw Limbo. There it is. Nice. And Med Team. We're going to discard Med Team. We're going to... Do we have a lightning? We don't have a lightning in the deck. Uh oh uh, We're going to discard basic spell instead. And... Do we heal? We're at four. I think we heal here. We're going to go one, two, three. We're going to flip up. We're going to interrupt by placing basic spell on the top. We're going to mission team to discard basic spell and exorcism. So we don't actually get to... Because we can't assign the same resource. Oh, shoot. I didn't think about that. Okay. Well, I guess that's... We'll remove two and deal three damage to Mr. Sinister. Oops. I didn't, I didn't quite think about that. 
I don't know if I would have done anything else, though. Shoot. I probably should not have healed, actually. Top card is Dum Dum. Yeah, I, the mission setup was just to set those cards aside out of play. Set each copy of Desperate Measures upgrade up out of play. So yeah, it's a, they're just over there. Let's go med team to play Limbo. We will Limbo Cable to the top of the deck. I have not used this. Uh, Deadpool. We have to play Deadpool to the mission, I think. No, we have to get Deadpool out. We'll go Soul Strike. Uh, so we're actually going to keep Cable. We're going to put Deadpool on the top of the deck. Let's go Dum Dum and Cable to play Deadpool. Top card is a Stepping Disc. We're going to use Soul Strike to play Call for Backup. Let's go! How's it going? Deadpool is going to... Ravages of War needs to go. Um, Call for Backup helps us get rid of it. We also, if we if we take two off of Ravages of War, then we have a an Exorcism clears it, which we could clear next turn. We could grab Nick with Call for Backup. Let's thwart two off a call back for backup. Let's go. Just did a play with Cyclops Aggression, crushed the first stage of Claw, and got rocked by the minions on the sea. <laughs> nice. Nice. Let's stand up. We got Stepping Disc. Nick Fury. Kalu. Energy. Two, four. And a Stepping Disc. Top card, give me Colossus. It's Mission Leader. Okay. I'm going to add one threat to the main. Takes us up to 8 out of 12. Pestilence is going to attack. We're going to block with Deadpool. It's going to be 2. Disactivation. Death activates against you. Jeez. Do not give Death a boost card. I guess that's nice. Okay, so Pestilence knocks out Deadpool. A couple of things happen here. Uh, Pestilence attacks you. If he has at least one hit point, treat your identity's text box if it was blank. Forgot about that. Um, and then after a villain... Oh, after a villain activates. I thought it was after they attack. Okay. So war should have attacked. And then after war attacks you, if at least one hit point, discard an upgrade or support you control. So that sucks. There goes limbo. And then we're going to switch to death. Death is going to activate against me. Not dealing an encounter card. So that's going to be one, two, three, and we're going to deal one damage to my character, and then we're going to switch to famine. Well, that was crazy, but I think I did that correct, where it should have been war on top, which I think we should have one less here, but maybe not. No, we shouldn't. Um, war attacked us. We discarded. Death attacked us. Which dealt us the damage, now, now Famine's the active villain. Oof. We got two encounter cards. First one being Hunted. Second one being Worldwide Crisis. Place three threat on the mission side scheme or take one damage in this card gains Surge. Oh, I did not take it off of the right one. I need one, two, three. Um, I don't think I can place threat on the main, so we'll take a damage. Actually, we should we should be down to two. And then... Golden Horse, attached to the villain with the fewest hit points without an aerial trait. They gain aerial, 
and considered to have at least one hit point. After you attack the attached villains, resolve its force response and discard this card. Um, we'll give it to famine. No, we'll give it to war. Maybe we can get rid of it before war activates. Ah, ah, two, four, five. All righty, it's our turn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to I would like to play Nick. I would also like to play stepping disc. If we play stepping disc, we can get we can we can place a card so that we can make sure that we can trigger this. I think that's probably worth it. If we're gonna do that, if we play Nick, we can draw cards. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use Energy Stepping Distance Kalu to play Nick Fury. We're gonna draw a Mission Leader, Stepping Disc. And a strength. The top card is a Trescalion. Hey Nelson, watch WrestleMania. I do not watch WrestleMania though. Was it was it awesome? We are going to play strength to play mission leader. So after you play or after a side scheme is defeated, exhaust mission leader. Each player draws a card. We're going to thwart off of call for backup. We're gonna go and get a Ally. It's probably Deadpool. No, it's definitely going to be like. Dumb, dumb Dugan. And I think we have to shuffle this deck. The Rock, John Cena, The Undertaker, All Current Stars. It was freaking awesome. Sick. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Top card of the deck is Legion. Mission leader will draw us a Legion. Top card of the deck is a Magic's Crown. Okay. We're going to use a Le or we're going to use a stepping disc to play a stepping disc. Which is going to stand us up and we're going to put stepping disc or we can't put stepping disc, but we're going to put exorcism on the top of the deck. We're gonna take a. We're gonna make a mission attempt. We're gonna discard these two cards and activate both of these. That's gonna take out White Tiger. Go one here. We're gonna remove four threat and take out Mister Sinister. Alrighty. Alrighty. We're getting there. Your IRL friend showed up. I'm gonna go. Alrighty. See ya. Have fun. We do have a soul strike on the top of the deck, but I think, yeah, we're going to go dum dum Nick and magic to take out the ravages of war. So we don't have that hanging over our head. Um, and then we will use magic's ability to play soul strike to remove the stun. This is a problem, but I feel like we're starting to get, we're starting to get close to, to me. Oh shoot. We have hunted. Oh, uh, well we can't flip down regardless. So here we go. Uh, we got magic barrier. We've got basic spell scrying. Give me Colossus. There he is. Oh, actually, I didn't want to draw Colossus two, four Treskelion because I want limbo. We got miss Maria on the top of the deck. Add one here. Famine is going to attack us. We're going to block with Nick Fury. He's going to attack um, for two. 
After this activation resolves, put a pursuit counter. Nick dies. Forced response. We're going to discard the top 10 cards of our deck, which is our entire deck. We will get an encounter card. This is going to sh shift to Pestilence. Okay. Now we have... We're, we're resolving three encounter cards, which is not, not good at all. Not good. One, two, three. Targeted for extermination. The player defeats the side team, confuses their identity. Hopefully we can defeat it before uh, mission leader goes away. I guess Dum Dum can just take it out. We've got Sinister Strike. Place one Pursuit counter on Pursuit by the Past. And if it has any counters on it, the villain attacks us. All right, so we're going to toss Dum Dum in front of there. So we're going to take two. You are stunned. And then after he attacks, she has at least one hit point. So our text box is blank. And then we're going to switch to war. And Dum Dum is gone. And then we've got Dark Child. I can flip to alter ego form. I can exhaust or deal one damage to each character control and discard the obligation. I am going to flip to alter ego. Um, if I exhaust, what does that look like? I guess I could have tossed Colossus in front of that attack. It's too late at this point, I think, but that would have been really smart to do. Um, I'm actually not 100% sure what to do there. Shouldn't have put Venom at the mission. If he was there, he'd be so helpful against the three encounter cards. I mean, <laughs> we would have also had three more encounter cards. And I don't think I survived three additional encounter cards at this part. And kind of the idea was is that we were going to blitz the mission and then worry about damage later. Yeah, and I don't I don't think I could have in, I don't think I could have handled the encounter cards. Um I'm gonna deal a damage to me. This gets discarded. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna deal a damage to me, mainly because I can just heal. Okay. Oh, my, my text box is blank. I forgot about that. That's tough. That's a tough. I'm going to do this if my text box is blank. Um, okay. Let's heal for three. One, two, three. We are going to discard Treskelion to get rid of Haunted. think okay so this is this, uh, i don't have i don't have i don't have answers we could leave the mission out i don't want to leave the mission out there um so okay i think let's just scry and see what happens we got one two three we're gonna take the genius I guess this doesn't matter, right? Oh, we can draw that card with mission leader. So we're going to, we can use basic spell to take out targeted for extermination, which will draw us a card, which would be soul sword. So I guess it does make more sense to grab exorcism. Because then we can play exorcism on war which has a tough that it's not great then we roll the dice on if we can actually stun them i 
top cards are not face up and alter ego. Yeah, but I don't care. So I played scrying. I put one on the back of this is technically face down, but I also am trying to remember a lot of stuff. And so if it's known information, I typically just keep it face up. Like when I play blindfold, I just keep cards face up so I don't have to like go through the mental gymnastics of trying to remember what it is. It, it is cheating, but it also just, I'm trying to, I'm managing a lot. Um, right. Four health. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, cool. Yeah. That, that's the only reason I'm doing that is because I played scrying. Um, we, we can take out liberate. I don't think I play exorcism. I think actually what I do here is I, what does war do to me? Discard and upgrade or support. Yep. So I think I'm going to take basic spell to remove target for elimination. That's going to give me a card draw, which I'm going to take soul sword instead. I'm going to use soul sword. We're going to play magic barrier with soul sword. We're going to keep Colossus in our hand and use them to block the next attack. I think, yeah. And then, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, okay. So we will flip up. Text box is blank. So that's fit. We cannot play this card. We're going to use genius to play basic spell. Then move three threat from here. We're going to mission leader to draw soul sword. We're going to use magic barrier to play soul sword. We're going to mission team, make a mission attempt. It's a mental, which is good there. And so we are successful. Shuffle each player card in this mission into its owner's deck and then flip this card over. Okay. Uh, after you flip to the side, remove each card from the mission area. If the mission was not defeated, it was. If the mission was defeated, each player adds one copy of Desperate Measures upgrade to their hand. Desperate Measures is the attached to an ally and it's a 1-1-1 one, one, one considered to have a wild resource icon. I actually don't know if I keep this. Do I care? I think at this point, I'm just discarding this. Oh, I can toss Soul Sword over Mission Leader too. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna stand up. Our text box is now no longer blank. We're gonna draw up to Kalu, White Tiger. White Tiger doesn't really work in this scenario. Spiritual Meditation. Magic's crown. Top card of the deck is spiritual meditation. Okay. We'll add a threat to the main. We're at 10. War is going to attack us for four plus a boost card. We're going to use. I guess everything. Uh, Kalu, white tiger and the crown to play Colossus and declare him as the defender without exhausting. Be four, five. That's going to knock the tough. After war attacks, we're going to discard Soul Sword. We're going to move to death. Alrighty. Alrighty. We're getting there. We're getting there. Except this is really scary. Encounter card. We have one encounter card. Plague and Pestilence. Oh, wait, shoot. When defeated, what did I? I missed something, didn't I? This card's an upgrade or support they control. I don't actually think I had any. I don't think I had any when I discarded that. Uh, when defeated, the player defeated this game. Treats their identity's text box as if it were blank until the next villain phase begins. Comes in with six. And a crisis, which is probably lethal. Sadly. Yeah, that's... We lose. Um. Okay, let's mission team to draw a card. We got Deadpool on the top of our deck. I guess we'll play Deadpool. We're gonna thwart five off of Plague and Pestilence. And we'll stand up. We got basic spell, stepping disc. Magic Barrier, Legion, that's four, and Spiritual Meditation. I do like having Stepping Disc with a Colossus Chump here. We're going to go up to 11. 
death is going to attack us. Deal one damage to each character you control. That's scary. Just, we're going to block with Colossus. It's going to be three, four, five. It's going to knock the Colossus out. Then we're going to take a damage, and Deadpool is going to take a damage. This is going to swap with Famine. Encounter card. Agent of Apocalypse. Guard. Choose either add Agent of Apocalypse to the mission area, or it activates against you. Um, we have three health. I guess this top card is face up. We'll chump with Deadpool. Alrighty. So I want to use this ability before I... Before I or use her ability before I thwart down Plague and Pestilence. So let's use Spiritual Meditation. We'll take Soul Strike and Exorcism to the top. And we got Iron Heart here. Okay, perfect. Actually, really great. Let's use Magic Barrier and Magic's ability to play Iron Heart from our hand. And then we got Stepping Disc. Sweet. Top card is Mystical Armor. We're going to thwart one here. Hey, hey! Thanks for the follow, Jimmy. I appreciate it. The attack triggers are brutal. The attack triggers are brutal. Get that out of there. So now our text box is blank until the start of the next villain phase. Mission leader is going to trigger, and we're going to draw this. Um, let's use mystical or actually magic is going to deal two damage to the agent of apocalypse. Nope. Magic is just going to knock this stun because we're in the territory of that, uh, that one encounter card, just taking us out. Good to be here. I've been thinking about pulling a trigger on this game, but into board games in general. Awesome. Well, this is a fantastic game. I, I love, love, love Marvel Champions. What's your favorite game? Uh, okay. Let's go. Let's go basic spell to play Stepping Disc. We're going to stand up and we're going to put probably Colossus on the top of our deck. Or what we could do. Uh, before before we do that, we're going to mission team to draw a card. We have med team. Okay. Now we're going to be putting a card on the top of our deck. Digging Brass Birmingham now? Terraforming Mars is still the all-time vibe. I got Terraforming Mars behind me here and Brass Birmingham right there. Nice calls. Good choices, if you ask me. Good, good, good choices. That's awesome. Okay, so I want to. Oh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a mental on the top of the deck. We'll just go spiritual meditation. We'll go. Mystical armor and soul strike. No, mystical armor and med team to play exorcism, to remove four threat from here. Then I will confuse Famine. I see them. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, no. Brass is in my top five. Terraforming Mars used to be my favorite game. And it's just kind of... I think I think I almost overplayed it. But, yeah. Awesome. Happy to have you here. Yeah. Let me know if you go with Champions. Champions is my most played game of all time. I'm trying to think if that's actually true. I played a lot of Summoner Wars. But Champions is probably my most. Do you ever get burnt out of Marvel Champions, or is it all still going strong? Hey, Gene. Uh, no, I think it's all kind of still going strong. I just, I really enjoy the, I really enjoy the game. So I don't, I don't necessarily think that I've ever had a issue of being burned out. Alrighty. Um.
Oh, yeah, we have to dis... Or, uh... If the top card of your deck has a mental or wild resource icon, confuse the villain. I... Do you look at it? I guess that's a question that I have. Since I'm not playing with this card face up, I guess I, I, guess I look at it. And so, yeah. Confuse is famine. Let's use... Makes sense. All these days you play such a variety of card games. Yeah. Yeah. I play Champions, Arkham. I think I have a new Arkham campaign starting on next Friday, so I'm excited about that. And then Earthborn, Lord of the Rings, Ashes. A lot of good stuff. We're going to Soul Strike the Agent of Apocalypse. We're going to... Thwart one off of here. So stand up. I am nervous. Spiritual meditation. Cosmo. Cable. This is fine now. Maria, two, four. Soul strike. Top card of the deck is a strength. Bummer. Uh, at least we have a spiritual meditation. We got one here. Famine is... Oh, well, that's going to get knocked out. Famine's attacking for two. Plus three. It's going to knock out Ironheart. Discard ten cards. One, two, four, six, eight. Which will give us an encounter card. We'll shuffle. Ugh. Not an easy encounter. We have not dealt a single point of damage yet. So that's not great. <laughs> And we have three counters on Pursued by the Past. So we'll be fine, team, right? Right? We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Okay. Top card of the deck. Give me Colossus. Basic spell. That's not too bad. Then this is going to switch with Pestilence. We got two cards. The first one being Dark Designs. Place one Pursuit counter. Then we're going to get our Nemesis. Um, Belasco, after Belasco activates against you, discard the top three. Ruler of Limbo. So we're actually going to go find Limbo. And we'll be able to get Limbo back, which will be nice. Sorry, I can't uh, see very well on my phone. Do the villains attack trigger if they have above one HP? Yes, yes. But like this attachment, the war is considered to always have one HP. I haven't done any damage at all. Yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> I've been playing around I've been playing standard three wrong. I thought the Nemesis comes out after three counters. Ooh, a lot of your games are null and void. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Well hopefully hopefully that makes it a little bit easier. One of those games where you got out of the curve and one of those games where you got to outcurve them before doing any damage. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. You have to sustain. It did not help that I started with one health either. Like, I, I couldn't use health as a resource. Um, then we stayed down because we had one health, which let them scheme on us real, real hard. Um, next card is Exhaustion Surge. Exhaustion Identity. Bummer. We got Hunted again. Stop that. Get hunted out of here. I'm tired of hunted. <laughs> um, let's use uh, mission team to draw Treskelion. Top card of the deck is now going to be Magic Barrier. Let's use Spiritual Meditation. We're going to draw Magic Barrier. And Stepping Disc, we're going to toss Magic Barrier. We can use Soul Strike. I want to play Cable. Well, I actually, I, I don't actually see a, a route out of here. Um, I don't see a route out of this. Because we have Belasco. We're, we're just going to take too much damage. So we have to play Maria. 
We have to play Maria. Um, let's go Cosmo and we could Soul Strike. We have Blood Gem on the top. So actually, can we Soul Strike Pestilence? That saves us a lot of health. Mm, that's pretty great, actually. Can we Soul Strike both Pestilence and Belasco? Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, we absolutely can. Absolutely can. Alrighty. So, got Triskelion and Cable to play Soul Strike. We'll deal four damage to Pestilence. And stun because we have a wild. We are going to Cosmo Stepping Disc. We will stand up. And when we play Stepping Disc, we're going to put Soul Strike on the top of our deck. We're going to use our ability to play Soul Strike from the top of our deck. And we do have a wild now. We'll deal four damage to Belasco. Actually, yeah, we will. Four damage to Belasco. And stun. Okay. Hunted is going to... Hunted is annoying. <laughs> Let's go ahead and thwart one off a of ruler of Limbo. And we'll stand up. We got Blood Gym. White Tiger. White Tiger does not work in this. Desperate Measures. Strength. Two, four. Exorcism. Okay. And Genius. Alrighty. Top card of the deck is a Nick Fury. That's good. That's really, really solid there. Alright. We got one here. Pestilence is stunned. Belasco is stunned. We got two encounter cards. Ahab's energy spear attached to Ahab, otherwise attached to the villain. When the attached enemy attacks, it gains overkill and piercing. And we have to discard after... Okay, well that's... Not good. Overkill and piercing. Okay. Golden horse attached to the villain with the fewest hit points without an aerial trait. So that's going to be here as well. So Pestilence is now a... A four... Five, overkill piercing. Sick. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. We're going to use White Tiger and Genius to play Nick Fury from the top of our deck. Nick Fury is going to draw us three cards. Sorcerer Supreme, Dum Dum, and Stepping Disc. Top card is now Superpower Training. Let's use Nick to thwart Ruler of Limbo. We get Limbo in play. Mission Leader is going to trigger and we're going to draw Superpower, which puts Mystical Armor on the top of the deck. Okay. This is a hard... It, it's not... It's not great. It's not great. <laughs> um... Let's go mission team to draw mystical armor. Top card is magic's crown. Well, with strength to play sorcerer supreme, magic is going to take out Belasco. Since we have a wild there, we are going to use. Dum Dum and Desperate Measures to play Exorcism to remove four threat from the main and confuse Pestilence. It actually may be worth, like, just. Ooh, actually, it may be worth not confusing Pestilence. Let Pestilence scheme. I'm not going to let Pestilence scheme on us for four. But now we have a safe trip down. I'm sure this will be fine for the horseman. <laughs> thanks. 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 Uh, we'll play blood gym. That's going to be a target for war to get rid of. So that'll be nice. Let's go ahead and. Um, let's 
Superpower training will play stepping disc. We'll stand up and we'll take and put a magic card on top of our deck, which will be Soul Strike. We are going to flip down and we're going to heal for three. One, two, three. We're going to discard Mystical Armor to get rid of Hunted. Okay, let's stand up. It's it's so it's so intense. <laughs> we got Soul Strike, Magic Crown, Stepping Disc, Iron Heart, two, four, Venom, five, and basic spell. Honestly, straight up, we could drop Venom, take the attack of five. That overkill is not gonna be too too bad. And just and then Venom leaves before he actually does any or like any any bad things happen. Actually, yeah, that's that's nice. Top card is not face up. We're gonna add a threat. We are gonna be confused. Our encounter card is under fire. Of course it is. Metal wings attached to death and move the active counter to him. He gains retaliate one. He's considered to have at least one hit point remaining. After you attack death, resolve his force response. After you attach, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do the golden horse there. Okay. Okay. And then we got hound guard. If you're in hero form, he attacks you. Otherwise change your identity to hero form. That's less desirable. Okay. Top card is Deadpool. Okay. Nick is going to go away. This is the scenarios difficulty out by the campaign at all. I think the missions yes i'm also like are the downsides of the missions is do is not doing the missions a huge hindrance or is it just kind of fine that that's a question i i do not know the answer to that um death Deals a damage to each character. Uh, we're going to magic to take up the hound. We are going to mission team to draw a card. Spiritual meditation on the top. All right. Let's go with a limbo. Spiritual meditation. Iron heart. We're going to use a basic spell. to. No, 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 no. Not yet. Not yet. We're not going to put Ironheart. We're going to put uh, Venom on the top. Yeah. Um. No, we're not. We're going to put Dead... Mm. Did I just swap out Ironheart? No, we're going to leave Ironheart on the top. I'm not going to use Limbo quite yet. Because I want a... I want a physical resource... The problem is, is death is going to deal a damage to all of us. I mean, a permanent Avengers Mansion for completing the mission is nice. It is, but it's so many resources to take out the mission. Like, so many, right? So, I, I, I probably spent... I think I spent two... White Tiger was one. That's three. Plus the card's five. So I need to have six turns after the mission, after I complete the mission, in order for me to make my money back on the resources I spent over here. So. And I'm trying to figure out if, like, if I just ignore the missions, which is also seems kind of sad to do for the campaign. But if I ignore the missions, is that just going to be better off? Um, let's actually, let's just play spiritual meditation. We've got iron heart, spiritual meditation. Top card is scrying. Spiritual meditation will draw scrying. Exorcism. Top card is basic spell. Let's scry. We've got basic spell. Med team. Magic barrier. We'll put magic barrier on the top. Um, we'll draw med team and we'll discard basic spell.
Okay, so I want to... Uh, still waiting for AOA in Australia. You're the first person I've actually watched playing campaigns. Missions, though I only started watching about 10 minutes ago. I can't form much of an opinion on the missions. Is the comeback on? I, I'm hoping so. I'm hoping the comeback is on. Ignoring missions that give rewards is okay, but I think it's good you do missions to avoid punishment. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, let's use... Med team and stepping disc. No, let's use med team and basic spell to play soul strike to deal four damage to death. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, we just do it like this. We take a retaliate one and we're going to trigger the ability, take a damage to get rid of the metal wings. AOA is not out in Canada. Mm. I'm all, are are they coming out soon though? I think I think I messed something up. I think Ironheart's not supposed to be in my hand. Um, I'm just gonna discard Ironheart. It's, I think that's the best way to play that fairly. Um, let's limbo. Magic Barrier for Stepping Disc. We're going to play Stepping Disc to ready, put a card on top of our deck. We don't have Colossus, do we? Yeah, that's too bad. Um, We have Exorcism. Mental or Wild Resource. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I get, I get exorcism needs a mental, but it is a lightning. I get those confused all the time. We're going to put soul strike <laughs> because now we're going to use we're going to use, um, we need, we need to get a ally out there, which we will have Colossus. Two, four. Yeah, we'll have Colossus available to us. So that's nice. Um, let's use... We have four health. I can't, I can't take health. Um, let's go ahead and... Deal two damage to death. We'll go Venom and Deadpool to play Exorcism, remove four threat, and confuse Death. No, we'll confuse Pestilence. Because Death is going to cycle. All right. The update I got from my store in Australia is that there's a delay up to a month. The Canada delay really surprised me, though. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully that resolves quickly. Okay, let's stand up. We got Soul Strike, Kalu, Energy, Soul Strike, Colossus, two, four, five, six. Top card is a Legion. We're gonna limbo Colossus to the top of the deck for Legion. Okay. Which actually No, never mind. Okay. We got one threat here. Death is going to initiate an attack. We're gonna use our ability. Magic to play Colossus to be the defender of the attack. It's going to be three after this activation. Place one pursuit counter. And then we'll deal a damage to Colossus and magic for death's response. We're just going to do this. Okay. And then Famine is hanging out with us. Ooh, hey, Gurisma, how's it going? We get an encounter card, and this is shuffling. This is tough. This is a tough scenario.
but I feel like we're starting to get a little bit of little bit of uh, footing. Top card is Magic's Crown. All right, we got uh, Sism. When revealed, if Ruler of Limbo is in play, place two threat on it. Place two threat on the main scheme otherwise. He's a guard. Then we've got a time of famine. When defeated, the player defeated this scheme discards the top 10 cards of their deck. It comes in with six. Not bad. Waiting for the world ending event. The solar eclipse. Yeah. We're uh we're about to go and hang out and check out the solar eclipse as well. I'm pretty I'm pretty excited. That has an acceleration icon. This is no longer there. Let's mission team to draw Mag Magic's Crown. We got basic spell on the top of the deck. Basic spell is pretty decent at this point. So let's go ahead and use Magic to spend a Magic's Crown to play basic spell, which is going to take this down to three. No, we're gonna. We're actually just gonna deal three damage to Sism. Magic is gonna take out Sism. Gurism, are you in total? Are you in the path of totality? Uh, okay, so the top card is Scrying. Let's go ahead and Soul Strike, Soul Strike, Kalu to play Legion. Legion's going to thwart one here. Discard Scrying. Remove two more threat. Colossus is going to thwart two here. Almost 99.9. .9. It's super cloudy. Oh, no. I'm hoping it's not cloudy here. I've, I haven't really looked yet, but I'm hoping it's not. That'd be sad. Um, we are going to flip down to Alter Ego. And we'll stand up. So we got... Soul Sword, which we're going to keep. We got Exorcism, Stepping Disc, Spiritual Meditation, Desperate Measures, 2, 4, 5, 6. Desperate Measures does go on Legion. Just from like a... Yeah. We got 2, Confuse, and Counter Card, Targeted for Extermination. When defeated, a player defeats this scheme, confuses their identity. Comes in with 3. We're going to heal for three. One, two, three. We're going to mission team to draw into med team. We are going to spiritual meditation. Spiritual meditation and a magic barrier. We'll toss the magic barrier. Spiritual meditation to draw a stepping disc. And strength, we're going to toss the... Ooh, that's actually interesting. Um, Soul... We're going to toss desperate measures. I like it, but I also don't think that I think I'll need to chump with Legion before I use it. Let's go ahead and stand up. We're going to interrupt by putting a spiritual meditation on the top of our deck. Legion is going to thwart one here. We'll discard spiritual meditation to remove two more, which is going to clear targeted for elimination. Which is going to confuse our identity. And mission leader is going to draw us into Dum Dum. Top card is Exorcism. 
Once I get this box, I'm trying a storm dive bomb against these guys. Ooh, that's gonna be yeah, that that'll be good. That'll be really, really good. Okay, let's go. Sounds like some nasty weather. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's play Dum Dum to play Stepping Disc. We're gonna put Scrying on the top of our deck to use Strength to play Exorcism. So we'll remove four threats from Horseman of the Apocalypse and confuse. War. I want to see how fast I can defeat them. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Um, I'd never readied. I still have not played the top card of my deck, which is kind of interesting. Let's go Limbo. To swap Soul Sword with Scrying. Let's go ahead and use our ability to drop Soul Sword on the table. So whenever we have a physical or a wild resource, we have piercing. Or plus one attack. We're going to Scrying to go Exorcism, Cable, and Maria Hill. Let's go Maria on top. We will draw... Actually, no, we're going to draw Maria... Let's go Cable on top and Exorcism there. Uh, Treskelion and Med Team are going to play Maria Hill. That's going to draw us Cable. And we've got an Energy on the top of our deck. Alrighty. Colossus. Let's just start beating up on some of these. Colossus is going to attack for two on Famine. I'm also trying to figure out if it's better to stomp one of them down at a time. Probably. Okay, so that's two. Magic is going to attack for two on Famine. Uh, we'll use Cable to play Stepping Disc to ready, and we're going to put Colossus on top of our deck. We'll attack for three now, because Colossus is on top of the deck. That is seven on him. Maria is going to thwart two here. And we'll stand up. We got Colossus. We got Energy. We got Spiritual Meditation. Stepping does two, four, five, six. Top card is a Venom. All right. We're going to Limbo. Colossus for Venom. And then we're going to go into Villain. We got two here. Famom's going to initiate an attack. We're going to use a energy to play Colossus from the top of our deck and declare him as the defender. So it's going to be two. Ruler of Limbo is in play. Place two threat on it. It's not. So two knocks the toughness. And then we're going to discard the top ten cards of our deck. Two, four, six, eight. Which will give us an encounter card. Famine is going to swap into Pestilence, which we have already teed up to be confused. From what I've seen one at a time, in order of how annoying they are to you, I think I think that's the right way to do it. I think that's the right way to do it. Storm showing the horseman what the real apocalypse looks like? Yeah, heck yeah, let's go. Let's go. Okay, two encounter cards. Top card is a magic barrier, which is good to know. We have used this, though. Uh, the Scepter of Death, when defeated, the player defeats this game, deals one damage to each character they control. 
I don't love that. And then we've got the Golden Horse attached to the villain with the fewest hit points without the aerial trait. So that has to be famine at this point. So we have to get rid of those. Because they're considered to have one hit points, which means that they wouldn't. Yeah. So we have to we have to get rid of them. Two, four, five. Alrighty. Um we have a physical resource on the top of our deck, which means that Legion can deal some pretty decent damage. After you attack the attached villain, that also means that I have to make three attacks, which is really annoying. So let's go ahead and just start doing that. Uh, magic is going to attack for three on Pestilence. And then we're going to treat our identities text box as if we were blank. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I will attack again. So that's at 7 out of 12. Let's go Spiritual Meditation and draw a Magic Barrier. Cable. Top card of the deck is White Tiger. We will probably toss Cable here. We'll use Magic Barrier to play Stepping Disc, which will stand us up. We'll put Magic Barrier on top of our deck. And I didn't actually realize this, but Legion is going to thwart here. Discard Magic Barrier. Heal 2. He'll take the Consequential. That's going to clear Time of Famine, which will discard the top 10 cards of our deck. 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm curious to see how, a, how well a Rush deck with Wolverine... I think it would do pretty good, as long as you're not doing this mission side schemes. Yeah, Kalu. That's going to... Mission Leader. Top card is Nick. Alrighty. Okay, well that's interesting um hmm. let's go ahead and use magic's ability i'm going to use superpower training venom and basic spell to play nick uh, actually first maria is going to thwart here Yo, what up, Nelson? What's up? How's it going? Then we're going to play Nick. We're going to draw one, two, three. Top card is Desperate Measures. Forgot how nice Spiritual Meditation is. Haven't played a Mystic in a while. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. Age of Apocalypse. Yeah, we got Venom in here to take care of uh, mission, mission uh, side schemes, things. So we do have a wild now, which is great. Um, so we will attack for three, which will take this to 10. We will then trigger this ability. So this is now considered blank, but then this goes away. I assume I assume that we the next villain is immediately to the right of the current villain. If the current villain is the rightmost, then the next villain is the leftmost. I assume if you knock them out, then it just goes to the next the next one, right? It would have to. So I think we'll just go Nick will knock out Pestilence, which I assume that gets discarded. And this is at zero. Or does that not get discarded? It only moves even if they're dead. So like now he's just knocked out. He's dead. And we don't have an active villain. And Oh, if he has a... No, so he's still out. 
I see, I see, I see, I see. So he's not actually dead. That's really frustrating. <laughs> have to have to get rid of them. Um, okay, so there's that. And then the spear is still around. So we'll have to flip down to do some... Oh, he's still a mission team. I forgot about that. We're going to grab Desperate Measures. All right, let's go Spiritual Meditation to draw Genius. Spiritual Meditation. Don't get to see the top card. Spiritual Meditation. Oh, wait, we have to discard a card. Discard Kalu. Getting propped up by the other three. Yeah, right? Right? We played the second spiritual meditation. We'll grab Soul Strike. Nice. And a Cosmo. We'll toss Cosmo. Let's play Genius. We'll play Soul Strike to deal four damage to death. Then the top card of our deck is a Physical. So we do stun death. Uh, we'll use Exorcism to play Desperate Measures on Legion. Colossus will go ahead and get two damage on death. The ones without HP still activate, but they don't resolve their power. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Oh, we are, we're, we're down. That's fine. Let's flip down to Alter Ego. Okay. I'm going to toss med team. We're going to stand up. We got strength, basic spell, iron heart, energy, Triskelion, two, four. I'm actually going to hang on to med team because I don't want to draw that last card. All right, we got one, Confuse. Encounter card is Horseman of Pestilence. Heal two damage from Pestilence. Beans. Give her a tough status card and she activates against us. Oh, jeez. Okay, so she's scheming for three. Deal one damage to an ally at the mission. Give the activating enemy an additional boost card. So three. After this activation, Famine activates against you. Do not give Famine a boost card. So that's going to be three, seven total. So we go up to eight. Okay. Then war is now our active. Whoops. <laughs> Unless they have their attachments. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm this is a tough scenario. Nick is gonna go away. We have a lot of threat now. <laughs> hey hey Joshy, thanks for the subscription. Eight months. Awesome. Thank you so very much. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, so death is out. Famine has five. War has war is full up. Um, let's flip up. We're going to choose a spell with a physical resource. We magic barrier. So actually, um, we want a lightning. We want lightning. The stepping disc we don't. Legion is going to attack famine for two, discard two more. So that's four total damage. So seven goes to eleven. Where does the time go? I don't know. It's crazy. Playing champions. <laughs> yeah, fair. Very fair. Very, very fair. Um, okay. Let's have top card of the deck is stepping disc.
We'll pierce two here. No, actually, you know what? We're going to limbo stepping disc with strength. We're going to do three. We're going to use Triskelion to play stepping disc, which will ready. And we're going to put... Soul Strike on the top. We'll use Med Team in our ability to play Soul Strike to deal four damage here and stun War. War is the. Discard and upgrade or support. We'll use this and we will discard uh, Blood Gym. Get rid of that. Okay. Um, energy will play Ironheart. We'll draw strength. We'll deck out. So we have to. Do two damage to Famine, or one damage to Famine, two damage to Pestilence, and seven, five damage to War. Okay. Oh, wait, actually, the Amplify here, there's supposed to be one more on there. Okay. Top card is a Stepping Disc. Mission Team will draw us a Stepping Disc. We got spiritual meditation. All right. Ironheart will go here. And it's after I attack. So I might as well attack there. Which is discarding the top 10 of our deck. Um, I do have a stepping disc. So let's go ahead and attack here. We'll discard one, two, four, six, eight, ten. Top card of the deck is a magic barrier, which is nice. And that goes away. We can basic spell to play stepping disc to ready our hero and place, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll place a soul strike on the top and then we will pierce two damage here. Okay. So now it's just here that we're looking at. We'll go three damage there. Which will take us to 10. So two more damage and we're good. I think I I think I played a I think I've been confused too long. I think I played one of the confused spell cards while I was confused. Oops. Oh well. We'll stand up. This is there's a lot of upkeep in these scenarios so far. Not, not really Unis. I think the mission added to that, but this one has a lot of stuff going on. We got Soul Strike, Magic Barrier, Energy, Venom, two, four, five, six is Exorcism. Top card of the deck is Cosmo. We're going to Limbo, Cosmo with Magic Barrier. War, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Exactly. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We're going to add one threat here. That takes us to 10. Which we could lose. Part of me kind of wishes that I didn't stun war. Because I have magic barrier, which could have ended it immediately. But now we're rolling the dice on if we're going to lose there. Okay, so stun. Result of forced response on the active villain as if it had at least one hit point remaining. Move the active counter to the next villain and resolve the forced response the same way. So uh, discard an upgrade or support that I control. D 
discard desperate measures. And then we're going to deal one damage to each character you control. No, I'm not going to discard desperate measures then. <laughs> uh, I will discard soul sword. And then we take a damage. And then everyone dies. Then we've got toughness. If release the hounds is in play, place three threat on. Otherwise, find release the hounds and reveal it. Peace sales, but who's trying? <laughs> release the hounds. The first copy of hounds revealed each phase gains surge. Okay. So we'll just attack here and we're done. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to flip down. We're going to heal for three. One, two, three. We're going to attack here. Now we're done. So we're at eight. Whew. That was tough. Th that, those are tough. I do think that knowing the scenario now, what I would probably do is sit here and take out one of them at a time. And then whichever one's the most annoying. And then take them out. And then you could sunlock them for a while. So I think I was trying to spread out damage where what I really should have been doing is focusing on one, sniping them, moving to the next, sniping, sniping. And it's also like every multi-villain scenario where the more you play it, the more it, it kind of makes sense and flows a little bit better. But whew. we I thought we were done. I thought we were done for there. Okay, strike the mission side scheme. It was defeated. Follow the defeated instructions for the side scheme in the campaign log. For the rest of the campaign, each player may shuffle one copy of Desperate Measures into their deck at the start of each game. That card does not count against your minimum deck size. Cool. Nice. The mission side scheme was not defeated. Follow the not defeated Overseer minions. Record each identity's hit points, which is eight. And we're at Apocalypse's Citadel. What news from my horsemen, Rex? My lord, your horsemen have been defeated, and the X-Men are on their way here. No matter, the strong survive and the weak perish. This is the way of the apocalypse. Apocalypse, your time ends today. Seeing all of this Magneto stuff is really making me think that we're going to get Magneto as that fourth villain, or that fourth hero. I started watching this. I don't see a way through. Look at you now. It was tight. It was tight. I don't think it was a clean win. I think I, I, think I used this when I shouldn't have. So that's fair. That that I don't I don't think that I could have played one of my um, exorcisms. I I may have been able to, but I looked down and I was like, oh no, I forgot that I was confused. So, alrighty. Well, I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run actually like pretty quickly because we are heading over to the park to watch the eclipse. So, if Magneto is not the fourth hero based on uh, the art story, then well played, FFG, hundred percent, hundred percent. But I hope everyone has a good day. If you are near the eclipse, please be safe. I know it's going to be really crazy driving and all of that stuff. So be safe, but enjoy it as well. Don't look at it. Don't don't look at the eclipse. That's bad. Uh, <laughs> but I appreciate y'all. Thanks for hanging out. I will be back on tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it, Ark. Thanks. Uh, sweet. Yeah, I will be back tomorrow. We're going to continue on in the campaign and see how far we can get tomorrow. Awesome. Appreciate y'all. See you around. Peace.